98% of dudes rapping, they ain't nice as me 98% ain't live the same type of life as me The judge gave me life and then they sent me where the life is be That level four with depth and vice, the type of stuff they like to see Two choices, fight or flee, I refuse to die a chump I never been a mark, but damn it's scary when that riot jump I seen dudes cry, get pumped, or some sexually brutalized I knew a dude who lost his life and he was only doing five Year long racial fights when homie all you do is ride Lonely days and nights have been a whole cause in suicide From the moment you arrive you see the Mexican Mafia AB skinheads with big giant swastikas Pro black philosophers the BGF the Kumi And Muslims who will murk you from the nation to the Sunni That MS was loony quick to ride up on they rival Even Christians went to church hide knives up in a bible Political and tribal the Crips and Damus The Long Beast the Hubs and the Dubs and the Grooves The IE the Bakersfield the day go pop rules the hustlers quick to roll the gangsters don't move whatever click you choose you better stick say what's cracking youtube y'all already know how this gonna go it's your boy 16 to life yard down i'm back with another story for y'all so for those of y'all that might be new to my uh channel though i go by 16 to life i do a little rapping and shit and uh, I was locked up for 24 years, and so I accumulated some stories during them times, and I'm going to spit one for y'all today. All right, let's get it. All right, this particular story right here takes place when I was locked up in the county jail. So I got sent out to Riverside County, got like four or five different jails that's included in a little county jail system, and I got sent out to one called Marietta. So they put me in a dorm. Now, the dorm was predominantly Pisces. And actually, that was the first time that I'd heard the term Pisces, though, are basically dudes that was born in Mexico and, and now living over here in California or whatever. I mean, they call them they call them either the Pisces or the Border Brothers. So they also got some whites up in there and they got some blacks up in there, too. But the blacks, they always, for some reason, they kept us short. You know, when I say short, anywhere between eight to 10 to 12, you know, if they if we had, you know, 14 or 15, we considered ourselves deep up in there. Now, the dudes that was up in there. It was uh, Stutterbach. Stutterbach was from AMC. That's Angelo Mafia Crip in Pomona. That was my nigga. He was a real solid dude. Young cat. You know, he's about 19, 20. Excuse me. He's about 19 or 20. And he was facing uh, he was facing a murder. And they also had another dude up in there named Big Bill. Now, his name was Bill. We was just calling him Big Bill. Bill was probably like 6'3", 6'2", probably about 300 pounds. He really looked like a, light, a more light-skinned version of Fat Albert and shit young cat real you know real always happy and jovial and all that old type of shit then it was uh it was mr lou now mr lou unluckily for him he was the first person in riverside county to be charged with three strikes now what he had told me he had went to the store you know with the intention of uh, uh i guess stealing some underwear for his daughter so he in there doing his thing he's stealing he taking shit you know and so i guess at some point he, he see the employees, the store employees, they watching him, but he, any, for, for whatever reason, he try to, he try to get up out of the store with the stuff anyway, so once he go out the store, he's some, some white dude, some young white dude following, so he's seen, so Mr. Lou seen, Mr. Lou look back and take off running, he said the white boy start take off running, the white boy run up on him and bam, tackle him and slam him to the ground, then he tell him, the white boy tell him, you didn't fucked up, I'm the fastest white boy in Riverside. So, you know, then a gang of other people, they came over, they hopped on top, uh, top of Mr. Lou. He was struggling and shit. You know, they held him down for the police. So they ended up arresting him and he was facing, uh, he was facing three strikes. So actually he in, he ended up going to trial. They found him guilty, gave him 25 years of life, you know, but I assume that he probably out by now due to the changes in the law about non-violent three strikes. But anyway, so he was up in there too. Then it was another cat. I'm going to just call the boy S. He was up out of L.A., you know, uh, a neighborhood gang. So he ended up doing some foul stuff later on. I, uh, I talk about that. So so besides them them people right there, and I think it was another dude by the name of Earl. Earl was from Orange County up out of Tustin. But uh, outside of that, you know, it was just us and a few reju rejuvenated crackheads. They'd come up in there, you know, be all doped up and, and, and rest and drink four five milks and be farting all day long and shit, you know, get their little strength back and uh, you know, but they them dudes is insignificant. I couldn't remember none of them. So now what ended up happening is Bill was kind of cool with some of the Pisces, especially this one dude by the name of Jose. They be, you know, chilling and talking and stuff. You know, the blacks and the Pisces, we don't uh we don't really have no issues, you know, we, you know, we, we talk to them and this and that and, you know, so it's, it's uh, the relationship with them is, you know, it's cool. So 
at some point in time there was there was a fight coming on. I forget the fight, but it was a fight coming on, and um, they Stutterbox made a big bet with um, and of course they called him Stutterbox because he stuttered, but Stutterbox made a big bet with with uh, Jose. Now after the fight, the black dude that that uh, Stutterbox had bet on lost. So for whatever bullshit ass reason. Stutterbox didn't want to pay. I don't know if he was saying, oh, uh, we didn't shake hands or whatever. But now I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, why, did, why didn't the blacks up in there make him pay? Well, back then, you know, I'm only like 20, 21 years old. I had never been to the pen, you know, and um, so I didn't necessarily know how things went. And it, it just wasn't that type of atmosphere up in there, you know, for whatever reason. Stutterbox was disputing the validity of the, validity of the bet. So he wasn't paying. So after a few days... Once Jose realized he's not getting his money, Jose is mad. So now, I don't know why he happened to cho choose this route, but this is the route he took. So, so what he started doing, and, and some of them dudes up in there are real good artists. So he started drawing pictures of Bill. You know, big big fat ass Bill with his shirt off, leaning over, getting fucked by <laughs> getting fucked by a small uh, Mexican dude. And, and you know, you could tell the dude that was fucking him looked just like Jose. <laughs> And so he would he would post these pictures up in the dorm and shit. So out here in California, you know, we we call that sex playing. You know, any type of sexual related joke, you know, can lead to a whole bunch of problems because nobody wants to be seen as a person that that give his ass up or whatever. So you know, the first day we see a whole bunch of Pisces walking by. He had, he had put the picture up on a column, and we see a lot of the Pisces walking by. They laughing and they giggling. So we eating dinner. So. Eventually, you know, when we get up and we walk back to our bunk area, we go over there and we look and and um we see the picture. So we start laughing, you know, we snicker, it's funny. So Bill, he snatched the picture down. He snatched the picture up. He, you know, he take the picture and he throw it away. He's like, okay, motherfucker, you better stop. You know, so Jose, he and he puts up another picture, you know, a little uh, like a day later or something. So Bill said, okay, I'm going to show this motherfucker this time. So Bill go grab a picture. He snatched the picture down and shit. He go throw it in the trash. So now after after uh, that day after dinner, everybody just sitting around on their bunk. Now Jose is sitting, and you know, like I say, it's a big old giant dorm. It's open. Jose is sitting on the bunk talking to his buddy with his back. You know, they, they their bunks happen to be in front of us. They had the blacks in the back. So his back is turned to, to Bill. So Bill... Bill walks down there and from the other side, because they have like what they call driveways. And basically it's just where you come into your bunk area at. And so Bill went to he went inside someone else's driveway, basically just somebody else's driveway where where Jose got his back turned. And he come behind Jose. And like I say, Big Bill was a big powerful motherfucker. He snatched Jose by the back of the shirt and snatched and, and snatched her from his driveway. He snatched him through the back. To the other person's driveway. Then he just started hitting on him. Boom. Boom. He like, yeah, motherfucker. Put up another one, motherfucker. Put up another one. And Bill is just going upside his head, fucking him up. Now, Jose got a partner there. And he's standing right there. But he ain't he ain't getting involved. He's just going, hey, hey, motherfucker. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Hey. That's all he's doing is shit. Bill is on this dude's ass. Just boom, boom. And the other dude, hey, motherfucker. He's stomping his foot. Hey, that's all he's doing is shit. So Bill, Bill beat on him for about a minute or two, right? And then Bill let him go. And so we walked back to the bunk area. You know, so now they they go down there. They, they you know, they talking. When I say they, I'm talking about all the Pisces and the Border Brothers. They grouped all up and they talking and stuff, you know. So we figure out, okay, it's probably getting ready to go down up in this motherfucker. Now, throughout the course, uh, before this happened, it was a time or two. Me and Stutterbots, we had gotten to a couple fights up in there, you know, with a couple Pisces and stuff. And so, they, but you know, they gave us head up, head up fights. So they, they they already didn't like us. So they come down there, you know. So uh, the dude S, matter of fact, S say, here they come, y'all. Here they come. So now all the Pisces is coming down there. There's probably about 25, 30 of them, maybe a little bit more. At that time, like I say, it might have been, it might have been 10, 12 blacks. So, you know, so they come down there. Now the dude that was going, hey, hey, motherfucker, he come down there. So, and so we, we stand it up. It's me, Big Bill. Uh, S, Stutterbox, and, and, you know, a few other cats. The dude, he come down there and he say, Hey, motherfucker, you and you, you gotta roll it up, motherfucker. You gotta get your shit. I guess so he talking to, he talking to Big Bill and Stutterbox. 
So Stutterbox step out there. Stutterbox say, D -d 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 fuck you. I, d -d 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 I whoop y -y 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 your ass. D -d 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 then I whoop y -y 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 your ass. He talking about the one that uh Jose and the one that was doing the talking. And so, you know, they said, no, you, you, you got to roll it up, motherfucker. So all of a sudden, uh, uh, Stutterbox just ran over there and just bam, he fired on him. You know, so now it's on and cracking. The melee, the melee jump off. We, we swabbing, you know, doom, doom. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Had it been, had it been, uh, Serenios with, with those numbers, we probably would have been in trouble. But the Pisces, for whatever reason, they, they, they wasn't fighting. They weren't fighting hard like the Serenios. So we, not only are we hanging, we kind of like, you know, we kind of like, basically tearing their ass up because you know a lot of them now then fell back and it's a few of them it's a few of them in there and shit so now one he started coming toward me so i see s creeping up behind him so now i start backing up i'm well not necessarily backing i'm doing like this because i'm, I'm just timing him because he don't see s coming s creep up behind him and just bam s hit him put him out you know knock him down on the floor and shit then i ran over there um grabbed another one then uh, like three or four of them, they ran over there real fast and, and grabbed the dude that I had. They grabbed him by the back of the uh, jumpsuit and pulled him away. So now when they pull him away, by this time, all the, uh, now, now they didn't, I guess, you know, they didn't radio in there that, that it's a melee or whatever riot going on in the, in the dorm. So now all the guards, they run up in there. They come up in there and, you know, tell everybody to get down and all this shit. They break the fight up. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to hit you with the next part.